Good morning everybody, hope you're doing well this morning. Hope you guys stay tuned to the channel for more second date updates on the tents. Uh, look out for my uploads Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Studios. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Rodney. Yeah. You're looking for Allie? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, talk to us. What happened? Um, well, uh, yeah, it was, it was weird. Like, I really have no clue what happened. Uh, we went on like four dates and they all went really solid. And I don't know. She's just blowing me off. And you don't have any idea of what you did? I mean,. I have no clue. It's weird because a few days after our last date, she randomly texted me, All right, ready for this? You're a massive piece of shit. Uh, I hope you fucking okay. die. <laughs> Wait, wow. Hold on. You get a text that says, you're a massive piece of shit. I hope you fucking die. And you have no idea what you did. No. And then she blocked me. What? How do you get a text like that out of the blue and not know what it. you did? So is, is there anything you might have done that maybe like a few days later, like you, like she might have been like, oh, that was messed up. I, I have no clue. Like we went out like three days before that. And then out of nowhere, she sends that. And then and then she disappears. And I don't know. I mean, like I smoke a lot of weed. So <laughs> if I, maybe, I, maybe I don't remember what I did, but I'm pretty sure I didn't do oh, anything damn. weird. Uh-huh. I mean, and we were supposed to go out again on a, a date this weekend, and I'm guessing that her telling me I'm a piece of shit <laughs> means that we're not going out again. So I'm just confused. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you do me a favor and stay quiet so we can call her right now, Rodney? We'll do. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Is this Allie? Yes, who's this? Oh, beautiful. Allie, this is uh, Hot 96.9, the radio station calling you. It's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. Can I explain why we're calling you? Uh, I, I'm i sorry. I don't remember signing up for anything. You guys sure you have the right number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you didn't sign up. So here's the deal. So we got. So what we do is we got a phone call with your number from a gentleman that knows you, and he would love to go on a date with you. So we're basically, if we'll tell you his name, and if you agree to go on a date with this guy, we'll pay for whatever date you want to do. You can tell us the name, the place. Uh, I mean, the place, the time, the day. It could be lunch, dinner, whatever. So it's a guy I know? It's a guy um, that you know, correct. Jeez, so, don't tell me it's Rodney. It is Rodney. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is. Oh, uh, well, of course it is, yeah. Did he tell you I texted him to die? Did you just stupid to understand well, that means I never want to see him again? He actually did tell us that, but he said he's a little confused because, according to him, you guys had some really good dates, and he doesn't recall doing anything that f***ed you off. Uh, oh, really? Okay, so him borrowing my car to take another girl on a date isn't a big deal to him? Uh, what? He what? left that part out. Yeah, that's right. That piece of shit used my car to take some other hoe out. Wait, how did this? He asked you, "Can I take? Can I take your car so I can take a girl?" How'd that happen? Yeah, you're gonna have to ask him because I blocked his ass and deleted his number. I mean, okay. Uh, I mean, listen. We, you know what? Hold on. He's on the phone right now, so we actually <laughs> oh could my ask him. God. R- Rodney. Hey. What the hell? Can I? Can I ask, is this true? You borrowed her car to take another girl out. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's but it was just a coincidence. Wow, it how the f- is it a coincidence? Do tell. That you went yeah. out on a date with another girl in my car. You told me you needed to use it to get to work. Oh. I did need it. I did need to get to work. Look, look if I could just explain, look, it's really not that big of a deal at all. It's f- you. Kind of- <laughs> yeah. I found her lipstick in my car. Oh, Jesus. And you let her drive because my sister saw you at the 99, and she told me that girl got out of the driver's seat. Yo! Rodney! Rodney, come you on. You f- oh, pothead. What did you do? You went on a date with another girl in Allie's car, and you let the other girl drive the car. Look, I know it sounds bad. I'd love to uh, just defend myself. Like, you know, just, if everyone could just shut up for one second, I could have 
<laughs> Hold on, no, no, no. It's our Please. fault, guys, Every, yeah, everyone. Yeah. Everybody be quiet. We're, let's just let him talk and, and talk himself into a corner. Go ahead. What, what, <laughs> tell us your side of the story of how you asked Allie to borrow her car and ended up taking another girl on a date and let the other girl drive, by the way. Go ahead. Okay. So I did I did need to use your car for work. That's the truth, all right? But here, here's the real part of it. I forgot that I had a date already set up with Jennifer before you and I first went out, okay? It was a pre-existing thing. Uh, and she hit me up, and it was already in my calendar, right? And since you and I are exclusive... I went out with her. I, you can't get mad at me for that because you said that you went out with some other guy, like, after going out with me, too. You mentioned that, right? So I don't it, care if you went on a date with someone else. You're right. We're not exclusive, but you used my f***ing car. <laughs> <laughs> that is crossing the line. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. That's the coincidence part. It, it just happened to be on the same day. <laughs> okay. I, I, I had you your car right. the bitch drive my car. <laughs> okay. I know that sounds weird, too, but I can explain that. Right? <laughs> Can you? Why? Well, she has a, right? she has a Mercedes, right? And you and she, well, you have a Mercedes. You have a Mercedes, and she said she was thinking of buying one. And I, like, oh. wanted to see, she wanted to see how it drives. She wanted to. <laughs> Uh, was, I can't. Ramiro, come on. Yo. No, it was a test drive. <laughs> it was a test drive. Are you insane? Okay, listen. No. It, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, did you tell the girl that the car wasn't yours, Rodney? I mean, she never asked. So, <laughs> All right. I, I would have. Okay. I would I totally would have. Okay. Oh, uh, dude. I can't f***ing stand you. Oh, hold on, Allie. Hold on. He said he would have told this other girl that the car that he was taking her on a date with and let her drive um, was yours, mm. but she just never asked. So, you know, that's that's understandable. I would have come I would have come clean. Totally. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about another date? He said he would have come clean if need be. Hell no. And like I said, go die. <laughs> Damn. What about the fact that I went out with another girl and I realized that I want I want something more with you. I want to be exclusive. Like it brought up to this point. <laughs> I think you take that into consideration. Like it opened my eyes. Man, f- you. Next time, take you, take me telling you to die into consideration, bitch. The second date update on the tent. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, 810, and 910. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot 969boston.com. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Edward. Hey. What's up? You're looking for Mandy? Yep. Okay, so tell us what happened. Uh, yeah, I've been seeing Mandy for a couple weeks now. Yeah. Um, But since the last time we hung out, she hasn't gotten back to me. Okay. Did anything like crazy happen that day or? I mean, it's something unusual. And crazy, we went out to a nice ass restaurant. Yeah, and uh, what like restaurant? I couldn't even pronounce the name. Oh, okay. I was about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know that. Expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Um, and so that was normal. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time. It was like five hundred bucks. God. Yeah. Oh, mm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm paying. Okay. Baller. I mean, yeah, we got back to her place and we hooked up and like I spent the night and but I haven't heard from her since. Mm. And everything was cool, like when you left and everything or Yeah, as far as I know. In yeah. the morning it was fine. Yeah. She was getting ready for work, yeah. Is it mm. possible that I'm not saying that you did this, but we once had a guy who chewed on a woman's vagina because he didn't know oh, okay. he, didn't, he didn't know how to do it. So is it possible? I'm just asking, like, is it possible oh. that sexually you didn't give her what she wanted? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, no, uh, I've never had a problem with my sex game. Okay, okay. I mean, we were a little drunk, but you know that makes things a little better. All right. Hey, why, nah. Did I block that one out? <laughs> yeah. It's like hubba bubba. He, he, he thought the terminology was like the description of what you actually did. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not Edward. Let's oh, not confuse. God. So, okay, nah. Edward, Edward uh, we'll give her a call for you. Hello. Hi, is this Mandy? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So so Mandy, this is uh Romero, Pebbles and Melissa calling for, for calling from Hot 969 the radio station. This doesn't work. Did- I I literally don't care. 
just call me back later. Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, please don't hang up. Hello. Yeah. Okay, this will be re- this will be really quick. Let me just explain. Somebody gave us your number. A guy that wants to go on a date with you, and the reason we're calling you is because we'll pay for whatever date you want to do. You name the restaurant, the name, the the, the 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 day, the the time. We'll pay for Wait, the. F- you're going to give me free dinner. We, yes, free dinner. If you say if you agree to go um, with the guy that that called. Can I pick the place? You can pick the place. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, you, do you have a place in mind? Yeah, it's uh, there's this place called um, it's called like Duke, Duke's Ave, something like that. <laughs> you don't know? Is it by the way? Is that the place that you want with Edward? Oh, wait, is that the guy? That is the guy. Yes. <laughs> wait, what, the, yeah. what the hell place is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> a place that nobody can pronounce, but has wow. awesome food. Um. um yeah, no, f- that guy. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> he's disgusting. <laughs> he's disgusting. Yeah, he's that guy's a disgusting piece of. Sh- okay, because he said that you guys had like a good time, like when you were, you know, in the evening. Yeah. You had a good dinner and then a good time at your place. Yeah, it actually was good until the next morning. I found a bag of sh- on my car. So- Wait, hold on, hold on. You just cut okay, out a little hold bit. On. <laughs> what? What did you say? What the hell? He threw a bag of. Sh- on the car. Okay, hold on. Ed, Ed, Edward's on the phone, uh, Mandy. Ed, oh, come on. Hold, hold on. What the f*** are you talking about? What? <laughs> You're so gross. You literally sh- in a bag and you threw it on my f***ing car. Hold on. No, Edward. did not. Did you sh- in a bag and throw it on her car? Oh, my God. I have no idea what she's talking about. I think I wouldn't remember if I sh- it on her car. <laughs> I think there was it had to be you. It was in my Lululemon bag that was sitting on the hood of my oh. car. <laughs> yeah, it's which also happens to be the bag that I used to bring my lunch to work. It had my name on it. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay, <laughs> wait, what wait, is wait. going on? Did you do that? Yeah, he <laughs> did it, and I couldn't use the bag when I went to leave for work, so I had to use another bag. And then when I got to my car, it was like Dude, sitting there. Okay. <laughs> There what was, are you doing? What, what? There was sh- on your car in a bag. Yes. There were, I literally got to my car and it's sitting there and there's sh- all over my windshield and my hood. It was f- disgusting. Like, who does that? Why would you do that? I'm so sorry. I did not do that on purpose. Wait, wait, hold on. What, um, you accidentally sh- in a bag on her car? Uh, accidentally? I mean, yeah. So, okay, I had this sh- so bad and she was in the bathroom for a long time. Oh. And she wouldn't come out, and I thought I was going to sh- my pants, so I grabbed a bag. I didn't know what bag it was. Oh, my It must God. have been something from the restaurant or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Her apartment's really small. I I went into a corner and sh- in the bag and kind of went outside oh, and Jesus. helicoptered, and you did that sh- But I didn't know it would go into the parking lot and hit her car of all cars. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's a disgusting thing to do. You're such a gross piece of shit. Did you, uh, did, also, did, like, was your ass shitty when we were having sex? Mm. No. Oh, my God. No. After you came out of the bathroom, who knows what you were doing in there. Mm. Finally, you came out for, like, 45 minutes. I went and cleaned up. Uh, <laughs> hold on a second. So I'm you... not that disgusting. Uh, oh, yeah, you're not. You <laughs> yeah, hold right. on, hold on, hold on. Before I ask... You sh in a bag. You went outside uh, and you just threw it, and out of everywhere yeah, it could have landed, it landed on her car. It was it was dark. It was nighttime. I didn't know what I you know where it would go. I just threw it. I thought it was throwing it in the woods, but <laughs> apparently not. I guess no. All right. Well, hey, listen, Mandy. Um, you know, Mandy, what? It was it was <laughs> it was a, it was an accident. It was a he uh-huh. didn't do it. He did not mean to sh- in your lunch bag and throw it on your car. Complete yeah. and utter. There's no part of that that is an accident. Like literally, right. not a single iota of that could have been an accident. He took you a literally... squat in the corner of somewhere in her house. <laughs> what? Oh God! It went, like also, shitting my pants my... would be better. <laughs> oh, so. Is that a no? You could have a bigger apartment. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 You. So I. Is that a no? That's a hard no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Edward. Yeah. At least it wasn't your sex. 
See? The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, 810, and 910. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the second date update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you have it set on all so you don't miss any of my uploads. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys next time.